Windows 11 has given me a lot to think about, even though I've been a Mac user for almost 10 years now. I've already made the video explaining why I made the jump from Windows to the Mac, so today I just want to highlight how much Microsoft has done to make things better for Windows 11. From the perspective of a Mac user, there are quite a lot of things for which we can give Microsoft credit, and the one big thing is the new Microsoft ecosystem. Hey everyone, this is Clem from Future Reference. In the world of tech, you would hear about phones and tablets and computers and smartwatches, but the one buzzword that encompasses all of that is ecosystem. And uh, especially coming from Apple, they've been relentlessly pushing that concept for years now. And Apple is not just touting its ecosystem for no reason. There's not a company out there like Apple when it comes to a digital ecosystem. They design the software and the hardware of their products to be interdependent so all of your devices work near seamlessly. With iCloud, I have access to all of my files on all my devices. Likewise, my AirPods work seamlessly across all my devices as well. My text messages, passwords and HomeKit devices are synced everywhere. I can use Handoff across devices. I can airdrop files. The list just goes on and on and on. And Microsoft has attempted to create a similar sort of experience on their devices before. In 2010, Windows Phone 7 tries to reboot the tired, uninspired, uninteresting Windows Mobile 6.5 embodying their vision of creating a unified app architecture across their phones and their computers. With the arrival of Windows 8 in 2012, Windows Phone apps can be easily optimized to run nicely on computers as well, saving developers valuable time. In comparison, it was not until 2019 that Apple launched Catalyst, a technology that let apps run on both iPadOS and macOS. And iPhone apps could not run on a Mac until 2020 with the launch of the Apple Silicon. Simply put, Microsoft was a pioneer when it comes to creating a unified app experience across phones and computers. And the only thing was that they just couldn't maintain that momentum going forward. Without enough people using Windows Phone, developers were just not keen on creating Windows Phone apps, and with no apps there was just no traction for Windows Phone at all. When the active development for Windows 10 Mobile ended in 2017, it just seemed that Microsoft had no plans of creating an Apple-style ecosystem for their phones and computers anymore. Not until the announcement of Windows 11. On the surface, Windows 11 seems to only focus on revamping the design and user interface, and that's not a bad thing. For one, I personally think that the materials used in the Windows 11 design are absolutely gorgeous. But this update is deeper than just aesthetics, as Microsoft announced that they are bringing Android app compatibility to Windows 11. This is of course a very obvious advantage. This is a huge expansion to the catalog of apps that are available to Windows. That is a given. But then bringing Android apps to Windows unlocks a whole new world of possibilities for a potential Microsoft ecosystem. Currently on Windows 10, if you set up your Android phone with the Your Phone app, you're able to relay your photos, messages and notifications from your Android phone to your Windows computer. If you're using a Surface Duo or a Samsung smartphone running One UI version 2.1 or later, you can even do cross-device copy and paste, similar to what you can do across Apple devices. But Android apps in context are Microsoft's final piece in the digital ecosystem puzzle. Microsoft is integrating the Amazon App Store right in the Microsoft Store on Windows 11. And that is a really cool thing, because that means if you buy an app on the Amazon App Store, you can use it on both your Android phone and your Windows computer. That's a win by default. Even if you don't buy apps, with the Amazon App Store integrated right into the Microsoft Store, that means this is the one place for you to manage all your phone apps and computer apps. And the amazing takeaway from this is that even if the phone OS and computer OS are from different companies, Microsoft shows us that an integrated experience is still possible. An Android app built on Google's platform, sold under Amazon's App Store, can be run on both Android apps manufactured by a multitude of phone manufacturers and Windows computers manufactured by a multitude of computers. 
computer manufacturers. And if you're Microsoft or Samsung, you can even take the extra step to enable cross-device copy and paste, in addition to syncing photos, messages, and notifications. These things do not happen overnight. And evidently, Microsoft has put in a lot of effort in creating such a cohesive experience for Windows 11, even if it means rallying support from a lot of companies. In the future, that's just one logical step. Microsoft has rallied so much support from other companies, but Google's detachment from the whole situation is sticking out like a sore thumb. After all, Google, or Alphabet, owns Android, so its future is going to govern Android's development as well. On the contrary, Google is focused on Chrome OS on account of the boom of Chromebook use during the pandemic. Chrome OS can run Android apps as well, so Google already has an ecosystem going on there. And for that, Microsoft will need to put in a lot more effort to convince Google to get on board with their ecosystem. And the only way to do it is to prove to Google that Windows 11 is a viable option for expansion. And by that point, what's next will be entirely on Microsoft and Google. What we need is not a one-sided engagement from just Microsoft. If the makers of Windows 11 and Android 12 are to join forces to create a completely seamless experience that will undoubtedly give Apple a run for its money. And I like this sort of competition because this is exactly what's needed to push everything forward, even for a Mac user. This year at WWDC 2021, Apple has introduced a feature called Universal Control, leveling up the integration across Apple devices. But if the competition gets more fears, I'll be expecting so much more from Apple. What do you think about Android apps being brought over to Windows 11? Do you think it would change the way you use your computer? Do leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. I'm curious to find out. For now, remember to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more of my tips, tricks and reviews in the future. This has been Clem. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you again real soon on future reference.